Alrighty, this is gonna be part two. And let's see if I can kill <laughs> this asshole. As you move forward, you see someone resembling Naoya duck into a hey, side street. Wasn't that Naoya? Gotcha! Hey, where did Naoya go? Look, over there! I just saw someone go that way. It could be Naoya. All right, let's go after him. What? Why are there so many demons out in broad daylight? I guess it doesn't matter to them what time of day it is. But whatever, we've got to do something about them. What's the plan? So we deal with these guys first and then continue looking for him? That's the safest way. If we don't defeat them, they'll probably come after us. beat this this time hey guys be careful of where you are in relation to the demons if they surround someone who's all alone it'll be dangerous I I know we have to work together so let's think our moves out carefully screw being a good sport they'll go down faster if we gang up on them whoa what what the so we receive this bonus if we get extra turns or don't get hurt in battle, huh? We just gotta stay on top of things then as we fight. Thank you. 
Ugh, and that turn-wasting shit where they limit my movement is no fun as well. We got rid of this one. Ugh, they can reach me from that far away. Yeesh. Uh, I forget what that thing dislikes attack wise. But these are both high attack units, so. Should be okay. You fucking bitch. That shit gets really old. I swear, Yuzu, like, never connects an attack, and she doesn't have any magic yet, so that shit is just... annoying. Oh god, it's just gonna heal itself till there's no more MP, I guess. Uh, which one is closest to dying? This one is, but... The problem is... I don't know if my guy can reach the other one, so we're just gonna do it this way. I love that those kobolds get to attack before me every single time when they have very, very low freaking speed stats. Like, the computer gives itself every advantage in this game, it drives me bananas. The game is a lot more fun once, like, some of the skills open up and various things like that. Does anybody need a heal? Yeah. Ugh. Oh, thanks for wasting turns, dickhead. Appreciate it. those ogres too, they will absorb all your attacks until you kill them, unless they're under a status effect that allows them not to act. So it's really a slog getting rid of some of these units in the beginning. Alright, bye bye. One fever douchebag. Ugh. Huh? 
More demons? Where the hell did they come from? Hey, booty hole. Uh, hate not being able to move. Uh, frustrating. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much what happens every single time I do this fight. Those bitches kill my healer. Well... This should be dead at the very least. If I come off a little frustrated, it's um, a lot to do with my mania being out of balance recently. I think sometimes people misconstrue my tone is negative when I'm really just like, I haven't slept like in a day. going twice in a row, that's weird to me. Oh well. Oh wait, well, at least we're getting out of this alive. That's a good thing. Right! We did it! Ah, <sighs> we lost him. 
Back to square one for us. Why'd the demon start showing up? What's with that crazy auction? The questions keep piling up. We have to find him. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind, too. It's his fault we're in trouble. Oh, yeah. That might be a better plan. I agree. If we don't make it out alive, I'll be missing out on all my favorite forums. <sighs> I guess everyone lives for something. D don't give me that look. Hey, does the death clock still say zero? Uh, I had a feeling you'd say that. We can't find a way out. The death clock's stuck on zero, and the hours march on. Damn it. What are we supposed to do? Hmm? Huh? We've got mail. Who knows? Let's check it out. This one is just letting us know that if we do a good job in fights, we get more money. Nothing too interesting there. The new skill set bonus is available. This is letting us know that demons can learn new skills from your pool of skill set. Which you slowly so unlock. So something called a skill set bonus has been added on top of the Maka bonus. It's more to worry about in battle, but if we play our cards right, it could pay off. This is such a guy thing. You better not do anything risky going after this stuff. You know, it just occurred to me, who's sending these emails? You think so? It sounds like someone completely different to me. Now you might not have written them, but the wording and such should be based on his. Like robots with AI personalities. Their code is still written by humans. These advice emails might be generated by a program that now you created. Like when you write software for general use, you gotta leave documentation. The emails are so impersonal because they're general documentation. Which means this demon summoning program was always meant for third party use. As long as now you didn't program the manual with false info, we can trust what it says. I was saying we got a new demon, so that's a good thing. Let us grab this hoe too. Hopefully. I wonder what skills they have, though.
she can move through obstacles, which is kind of nice. And he can increase speed of attack. No, move longer distances, I think. Let's see. Critical rate up sounds good. And Zan? Actually, I think I want that here. And I definitely need to reread that email because I forget how they learn skills. Seems like we'll just figure it out as it goes. It's been so long since I've played this, I like don't remember very much. Well, if I get smushed again, we can always battle offline. Oh, this place is no good either. There were SDF guards all the way to Ikibukuro. I'm exhausted from all this walking. I can feel the sweat pooling in my shoes. Better sweaty than dead. What the? You don't have to say it like that. Sorry, I'm getting a little nervous. It's okay. I'm sorry I snapped back. Let's decide what we're going to do from here. Yeah, good idea. Hey. Are we really trapped in the Yamanote Circle area? Are we going to die just like that email said? Yeah, the west side might be sealed, but there's still the east. Let's keep at it. Incoming email. Let's have a look. The email says, I assume you're still alive. The death clock calculated by the Laplace mail system may not be absolute, but if the root cause of the events described doesn't change, it's highly likely that the results will still end up the same. That's fate. I updated your comp with a new function attached to this message so that you can face fate and cut your own path. You should be getting an email describing the skill crack fu function soon. I'm looking forward to seeing you again, so keep surviving. Okay. There's still an unread email. Let's see. Skill cracks allow you to analyze enemy abilities. Okay, so you have to kill that enemy. You can't attack the whole team with it, and... I really don't get what Naoya's up to. He got us into this mess, but he's still doing everything he can to help us. You got that right. If he cares that much, he should have made sure we weren't in the lockdown to begin with. I guess no one expects the city to be locked down when they wake up in the morning. Diet Coke. Maybe not even Naoya saw it coming. It seems like he was in a hurry to make this new function too. Yeah. Hey, those skill things come in pretty handy, don't they? If that function can get us more of those, that'll be a huge help. It might even increase our chances of survival. That skill crack thing? Only someone who knew about demons could program that in. I wonder just how much Nalia knows about demons. Yuck. Bud Light is not for me. It basically tastes like carbonated pee. I've just never really been a beer fan. Plus, like... Beer just doesn't get me drunk, like, ever. Unless I drink so much of it that I just feel, like, bloated. So, that and I hate feeling dehydrated. Like, I'll p put, like, water in my vodka so that at least I'm, like, not murdering myself with a hangover the next day. But I forget when I stopped drinking, but it was, like, two months ago now, I think. I just was like, I need a break from this shit. Let's see, I wonder how much Naoya knows about demons. Yeah, I guess that'd be the best way, huh? Yeah, let's find Naoya. 
We need to get information straight from the source. Though we have to do something about the number on the death clock first. Yeah, we'll have to use every trick in the book to survive that long. Oof. Um, let's see, what is there to do? Well, looks like there's another fight. Let's save then. Normally I'm a little bit more speedy in my stuff, but like, I am not awake right now. It is a figment of my imagination. Oh my gosh. Park. This brings back memories. I used to come here with my family. Hmm. <sighs> no one's here. It's usually really crowded. Hey, what's your favorite ride? Jamama's pussy. Let's see. Merry-go-round. <laughs> Ferris wheel or roller coaster. Huh? What's so great about that? Korakuen and Bunkyo Ku. It's famous for the theme park and baseball field. Anyways, doesn't it feel a little cooler here? Yeah, now that you mention it. Is it air conditioned? Maybe it has its own generator. I guess, but why would they cool the outside air too? Seems weird. You got a point, but you won't hear me complain. At least it's cool here. I bet there's gonna be an ice yeah. demon. Now that we beat the heat, I'm getting hungry. Oh yeah, it's already lunchtime. What isn't? Oh, crap! Atsuro, what's wrong? This is the place the email mentioned, and now is about the right time! Uh, what? Remember what the Laplace mail said? Murder victims of an abominable snowman? I sense he-ho in my future. Oh no, three victims, and the death clock says zero for us three! Hey, look! I found you all. You're mine now. Is that the snowman thing from yesterday? Localized blizzard will occur. This is it. The time and place match up. Damn it. Look at us. We thought we could escape from our fate, but we ended up running right into it. We made that email a reality all by ourselves. <laughs> The Wendigo says, it's very hot here, but I'm gonna kill you anyway. Is this really where we die? Is fate really unavoidable? What now you said? You mean... Ah. <sighs> You're right. We'll shape our own destinies. We're going to defeat this guy. I always tried to make a big show of trying so hard. But all I did was run away. I ran away from things I could fail at because I was afraid of looking bad if I did. But this time, if we fail, it's over, isn't it? I'll do it. I don't want to die, so I won't run away. So please, guys, stay alive. Okay, so the team leader has to kill it. Sucks to try to get that. With Yuzu, but 
it's not a skill that she needs. Uh, I'd rather have the ice dance, honestly. So it makes sense to have him do something else. Meh, we'll just see how it goes. Yay, we learned a new move.
but of course, kill my healer. Jerk. Wendigo says, how could a human All defeat right, me? We can do this! Let's drop this demon! If destiny is telling us to die, let's change that! I need to finish speaking before I press the button to make the next dialogue go by. Ugh. I'm just brain damaged today. Oh well. I'm hoping she survives, because I need her to heal my main character. Because if he dies, the whole... it's game over. Oh my god, right to that fucking number. So rude. Survived. There's still some left. Don't let your guard down. What? You humans have the power to beat Wendigo? It's your turn next, buddy. I don't want to die for nothing. Thankfully it left. Ugh. I was like one hit away from death, pretty much. Oof. Such tension. Woo! We did it! We really did it! We're still alive! Yeah, we kicked that snowman's tail. We'll be okay now, right? I mean, we were the ones mentioned in the email, but we cheated death! <laughs> hey, yeah! Quick, what does the death clock say now? Two days, huh? Well, at least we bought some more time. Let's use those two days to find a way out of the Yamanote Circle. 
right. Two days should be all we need to find a way out. Yeah, we changed our fate, so finding a way out should be cake. Oh, one thing, though. I forgot to tell you guys. What? Quit scaring me like that. Sorry, but I only realized it a moment ago. We've got a problem. W what do you mean, a problem? We're forgetting something important. We absolutely need these comps to fight, right? Huh? The comps run on rechargeable batteries, but there's a blackout right now. Right. At this rate, it won't be long before our comps are out of juice. What are we gonna do? Hey! Why don't we try going to Akihabara? We can look for a hand-powered charger and a way out of the lockdown at the same time. The stations beneath the tracks in Akihabara are under heavy SDF guard. <sighs> Looks like we can't get out this way either. Just like Shibuya and Shinjuku. Has the entire Yamanote line been locked down? Yeah, we've got to at least find a charger, or we came all this way for nothing. Oh, damn. All the stores are closed. At least one's got to be open somewhere. Wait a sec, is that... Keisuke? Atsuro? Why are all of you here? We came looking for something. Huh? What's that you got there? Hey, that's a hand-powered charger! The high-capacity version, too! Alright, out with it, Keisuke. Where can we get one? You're looking for one that's comp-compatible, aren't you? Yep, we have to charge our comps or we're sunk. I see. Alright, I'll take you there. This way. That's what you needed, right? I'm glad I could help. We sure owe you for this. Thanks, Keisuke. You people are amazing. I've never seen anyone like you. Huh? Your death clock. It used to say zero, but now it's two. You changed your fate. Yes. I too have a comp. It's most likely the same modded version as yours. <sighs> The nerve of you, running away when you saw our death clocks. Yuzu, cut it out! No, it's all right, Atsuro. It's true. I ran away from you all. Keisuke. By way of apology, I'll tell you this. Did you meet anyone on your way here? Huh? Well, yeah, we ran into a couple of people. As of now, no one within the Yamanote Circle has more than six days to live. At least no one that I've seen. No one who will live longer than six days? What are you saying? Wh what does that mean? Like, what exactly? I don't know for sure. All I can definitely say is this. Some kind of catastrophe will occur after six days. Everyone in the lockdown will die. I... I can't believe this. Believe it or don't, but it's not a malfunction in the death clock. I know because almost none of the SDF guards have any death clock readings at all. Are you serious? That'd mean... It seems so. Whatever's coming in six days will only affect the Yamanote Circle. Once it happens, 
we'll all be annihilated. Now do you understand? I'm sorry, I have to go. Huh, <laughs> you're too nice. Did you forget how I ran when your death clock said zero? Well, mine says one now, doesn't it? If I stay with you, I may end up dragging you down. Even if we survive the next two days, we'll all die if the coming disaster isn't stopped. And if we can't, the only way to survive will be to get outside the Yamanote Circle. Hey, Keisuke! He's gone. I feel kind of bad for making him say all that. Nah, that's how he is. Something happened to change him, but he's still looking out for the little guy. Yeah, although... I wonder if what he said was true. How everyone has six days left? Given the situation, it's hard to dismiss it out of hand. But what could happen that would kill everyone inside the Yamanote Circle? I don't know. But it sounds- Yeah. If we do find a way out, let's not keep it to ourselves, okay? Another email? What now? A program has been downloaded. The Cathedral of Shadows is an organization that has existed for many years for the purpose of fusing demons together in order to create new demons. <laughs> That's a run-on sentence. <laughs> this program allows you to remotely access the Cathedral of Shadows network and fuse the demons currently registered to your comp. Use this to create more powerful demons. Two oh notes. Two demons are fused to create a new demon. Prefusion skills can be carried over. Defined rules determine which skills are carried over through the fusion. Powerful demons not available through the devil auction can be created this way. First the auction, and now fusion? What's this about changing to another demon? I don't get this. Everything that seemed like common sense looks like the ordinary rules just don't apply when it comes to demons. But without their powers, we'd have gotten iced by that snowman. Sure, but it's the same demons that might kill us, right? I'm really not sure how I feel about that. Is now you just toying with us? Yeah, me too. He's been teaching us these things to help us survive. He probably cooked up this fusion function because he was worried about us. You have to create strong demons or you won't be able to stay alive. That's what he means, right? You're asking the wrong guy. But still, this is good for us, isn't it? <sighs> we'll have to work on mastering our comps, huh? Yikes, I'm really not up for that. Let's work even harder to find a way out. We have encountered a strangely dressed girl on the way to Ikibukuro Station. Oh! How am I supposed to get back home now? Whoa! Check out the outfit on her. Is she cosplaying as something? Hey! You were staring at me just now, weren't you? Oops. Oh, you like my costume? I'm cosplaying to show it off, so stare all you want. But the truth is, I'm wearing it because I had an event to go to yesterday. Even so, didn't you bring any clothes to change into afterwards? That's just because I didn't think I'd get stuck here like this! Besides, I didn't really go all out. It just looks like extra cool everyday clothes. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Anyways, do you know how to get home from here? I walked all the way from Shinjuku. You guys haven't found a way out yet, have you? Oh. Okie doke. Oh well, if you happen to find a way out, let me know. I'm Midori Komaki. Nice to meet you. Man, that was some girl. What? You didn't realize? I thought you of all people would figure it out, Atsuro. Hey, what's with the sarcasm? Wasn't she that famous cosplayer? I think her name is Dolly or something. I heard she's popular even among girls because she's not all stuck up. No way! R really That girl was Dolly? Oh, that went right over my head. Damn, I should have asked for an autograph. Ugh, I knew mentioning it around Otakuro would be a bad idea. Otakuro? What's with that all of a sudden? What's wrong with being an otaku?
As we pass Roppongi, we hear an irritated voice that sounds like Haru's. Are you sure? If you put your trust in Shomonkai, everything will be taken care of. Learn when to quit already. I'm telling you, I'll be fine. Are those ears for show? I see. Well, I'll leave you be for today. But should you happen to run into trouble, don't hesitate to rely on us. My name is Azuma. It's been a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> who the hell rely on you? Hmm? You're the kids who came to my street show this morning. Whoa! Do you remember every fan who comes to see you? <laughs> no, just a coincidence. I usually see you cheering by yourself. But you had a couple others with you today. But one of them didn't seem too into my songs. Oh, come on! It's not every day you get to hear Haru perform live. It's okay. Everyone has their own tastes, right? Who? Him? Whatever. He came by and said, We'll help you if you're ever in trouble. If he wants to help, he'll do something about this blackout. I can't write like this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing what you come up with. These guys can't go home either, huh? But it looks like Sheba Park is one of the bigger refugee shelters around. There sure are a lot of people here. It's placed well for it. Sheba Park was built to completely surround Zojoji. The park has schools, hotels, and even libraries. So it's a natural gathering place. I see. And since it's next to Tokyo Tower, I guess it's easy to find. Oof. I really miss living in a properly organized city like... I've lived in Chicago, and Chicago's kind of similar to that, like it has Millennium Park with a bunch of things surrounding it, and it used to have like free concerts in the park, which was really cool, um, but yeah, New York has like Central Park, Phoenix had a really cool park across the street from us, but unless you were like smack dab in downtown, like the access to it would be extremely limited. But I live in a place now where we're like two blocks away from a park, which is pretty cool. But a lot of homes in this area like don't have that luxury, unfortunately. Look at all those people. There's nothing any one person can do. So they just hope for the lockdown to lift. Guess we're not the only ones having a hard time of things. Yeah, I hope we can all get out of the Yamanote circle soon. Shomonkai cultists are making a speech before the masses gathered in Sheba Park. Do you all know the story of the Tower of Babel? Man once attempted to create a gargantuan tower in order to become closer to God. Blow me, weirdo. Their arrogance was punished with an ordeal by which their language was divided. But through knowledge and technology, man has overcome these linguistic barriers. The internet we have today is the embodiment of this triumph. But now, man has once again become arrogant and God has sent us another ordeal. To withstand this ordeal, man must join hands with one another and stand united. I implore you all, stand with the Shomankai and withstand God's ordeal. That's the Shomonkai founder making a speech over there. Cross-cultural communication is proof we've overcome the Tower of Babel, huh? But another ordeal's coming down the pike? It wasn't those demons in Aoyama, was it? You think so too? I mean, the timing was just too perfect. Hmm? Look, that girl. We have spotted a girl who stands out within the Shomonkai members. She seems to be going around and speaking to the refugees. This misfortune has struck all the people equally. Everyone here is undergoing hardship. Let us stay calm and wait. Give generously of your effort and assistance. Lettuce. That's the girl from last night. She seemed weird then, but she's kind of cute, huh? I thought you'd say that. She seems to be your type. Come on, you guys. What's all the whispering about? You two are such goons. One of the members of the Shomankai has noticed us and approaches. 
Hello. I'm with the order known as the Shomunkai. Can you spare me a moment? As you know, advances in technology have created new forms of mass communication. As these forms take hold, it is vital that we not lose sight of human contact. Sorry, bitch, you're too late for that. <laughs> we of the Shomunkai aim to reaffirm the miracle of human contact in the modern day. I see. That is a shame. Please reconsider if you would. Our Shomunkai is... As the Shoman Kai member begins their spiel, a familiar woman interrupts the conversation. You mustn't be too forceful with your invitations. Oh! Lady Amane! We met yesterday. Allow me to introduce myself formally. I am Amane Kazuryu, a maiden of the Shoman Kai. Yes, as a maiden, I am she through whom divine voices both good and evil speak. Man has, of old, distinguished between supportive gods and rapacious demons. However, the distinction is academic. At root, gods and demons are both otherworldly. You can hear their voices, behold their presences, can't you? You wield a comp, yet you do not sense their existences? I have a question for you three. Where did you acquire those comps? A certain individual within the Shomonkai commissioned those comps. It isn't especially difficult to deduce who could have given them to you. The author of the program loaded onto those comps, perhaps. In any event, I believe we will see one another again. If you'll excuse me, farewell for now. You hear that? Yep. Question is, why would they commission something like that? Why would the Shomonkai want a demon summoning device? They want to use a demon summoning program to summon a god? It might make sense if that girl's right, and demons and gods aren't that different. But once they summon a god, what then? Huh? How should I know? The area near Shinigai, uh, Shinaga Station seems to be blocked as well. This place is out too. It's so hot. My feet are killing me. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Hmm, yeah. Getting around's pretty tough now that all the transportation is dead. I want air conditioning. When's the electricity gonna come back on? And I'm hungry. Atsuro, go buy me something. I can't walk another step. Jeez, you're selfish. Uh, what do you want? I need my murder knife to end her life. I don't care. We passed a convenience store earlier. Just get me something. Uh, fine, all right. I'll be right back. That was close. They almost shut their doors because there was no way to restock. What? Take it easy. I was able to get some bread that was still there. Wow. But this is more serious than I thought. Tokyo really is reliant on other cities. We'll be fine as long as the park still has water. But if that stops, we're in trouble. No use over here either. I'm... Thirsty. Let's see if there's a park nearby. Man, I'm really tired from all this walking. Even if there's a blackout, why can't the buses and taxis be running? Uh, because the roads are full of accidents and debris? Ugh, stupid lockdown. I feel like this game foresaw something a little bit. Damn it! The east side's completely blockaded, too! We really are trapped in the Yamanote Circle. What are we supposed to do? Sitting around and doing nothing is stupid. Let's not give up and keep looking. It'll be tough if it's just us. But I'm sure we can share info with others to help. Yeah, you're right.
I like the poison enemies on hit and the critical hit thing for my MC because I have him as an attacker build. The pixie says, are you trying to make me even more sexy? You're a pervert. Kobold says, me gets high, you use me, then me go guitar. No habla cray cray. My linguistic skills are terrible.
Ugh, that's unfortunate. Because I want to have a full set of demons. I don't want to save that shit. Uh. Oh, that's so annoying, because this game is kind of, like, broken, so if I load a save, it can only be done from the main menu. Uh, is there a way to get to the main menu from here? I don't think there is. Oh well. I'm boned on that. Let's see. If a restart will help. If it goes black screen, I just have to wait, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna end this episode because it takes like six or seven minutes for it to get to the title screen because of a flaw in the emulator. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.